the new campaign is based on uh, something Nando's has done increasingly over the past 10, maybe 15 years, and that is give people a voice on something that they really care about. And one of the tricks that we have with our advertising is balancing voice of the people with product advertising because at the end of the day we're a business and we have to drive the sales. But uh, we felt like it was time to uh, tweak a little bit our communication mix and go more into giving people a voice on the things that they really care about. There is um, a key insight that we tapped into which is within the population of South Africa there's a level of annoyance and irritation with uh, public officials who have been elected by them who are repaying the citizenry by being self-seeking and arrogant and all about what's best for them and not so much about actually serving the people who elected them. And so that's where the insight comes from and when you, when you drill into what that insight means in terms of how it manifests itself, what consumers tell us is that um, the blue light cavalcades is probably the best symbol of that because you've got everyone and their neighbor now has to have a blue light cavalcade. It's not like, you know, 20 years ago, the state president had one, and maybe the deputy president had one. Now, everyone who's got an office has got a blue light cavalcade. And so, what we thought would be um, an amusing insight, and, and when I say we, I mean the broader we, the ecosystem largely driven by Paul Warner and the creative guys at um, Metropolitan, was, so what happens if you've got a whole bunch of these cavalcades meeting one another. So in other words, everyone's trying to shut down the, 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 the intersection to allow the cavalcade to go through. But what happens if they're blocked by another cavalcade? Because there are so many of these things going on now. And, and what does that mean in terms of the chaos it causes? And how does it resolve itself in a way that is typically South African, right? Because South Africans will always figure this out and they will always make a plan to go past, to circumvent the nonsense that these officials cause. And that's really what the campaign is all about. I'll blow you, my man. In fact, I'll blow all of you, okay? I'll blow all of you. 